air pollution and smog is detrimental and dangerous for everyone's health and lungs. But for people with COPD, asthma, and lung diseases, it is even more important to be careful about how to handle your health in days with high air pollution. Particles of air pollution are so small that you cannot see with your eye and you may not see that they are floating around. So the way to measure it is something known as AQI or Air Quality Index. Check the air quality index in your area to plan your day and activities accordingly. If the AQI is above 100, it starts affecting people with lung diseases like COPD and asthma. If it's above 150, it starts affecting everyone in the area. And when the AQI is above 300, it becomes a health emergency for all people in the town. On days when the air pollution in your area is bad, here are a few things that you can do to have a better day and take care of your health. Number one, avoid outdoor activities and intense exercise so that you don't inhale all these particles when you're taking deep breaths outside. Rather, change your exercise and activities for indoors. Number two, you can wear a KN95 or N95 mask to avoid inhaling these pollutants and keep your lungs safe. Number three, use air purifiers to keep the indoor air clean and also make sure that the air filters of your air conditioning systems are in good condition so they can continue to provide you clean and good air. Number four, when the air pollution outside is high, make sure to shut down your windows and your doors so that the air does not pollute your indoor air. You can open them after a rain or when the AQI index is low. Number five, many times air pollution can cause throat irritation and eye irritation as well. For this, you can use anti-allergy medications and also you can use lubricating eye drops to soothe the irritation in your eyes. And for your throat, you can drink uh, hot drinks like hot water with honey or teas to soothe the throat and keep it clear. Number six. Now this is very important for people with COPD and asthma, that many times air pollution itself can increase your risk of having a COPD or asthma flare up. It can also worsen your symptoms and shortness of breath and your mucus production. So make sure you have good supply of your inhalers and your medications. You're using your medications correctly and you have discussed a nice flare up plan with your doctors. So anytime you have any worsening in your symptoms and you think your COPD is about to act up, start acting on on your action plan so that you can stay out of trouble and also not exert yourself too much in days when you're having more symptoms. I hope with these tips you can now have a better plan of handling the days in which the air pollution is high and you can stay healthy and stay out of trouble and breathe well.